Hey, what's up everyone out there? I'm Jake James Lugo and welcome to Gamers With Games. Now I want to talk about some stuff of which I touched a little bit upon the Coalition.com's co-op podcast recently. If you guys haven't checked out the full podcast, there's links in the description box below for you guys to go check it out. It's a really good talk. We touched upon E3 as well as a variety of other topics. Well, some of the stuff I want to talk about in this vlog today are kind of related to some of the things that have been going on with No Man's Sky and it's kind of recent delay that's been talked about lately. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, No Man's Sky got delayed. It's official at this point. There's been a bunch of places that have confirmed this. But not too long ago, this was kind of like a rumor, kind of speculation that had been going around based off a report on Kotaku that was reported on by Jason Schreier. Basically, a source over at Kotaku had showed a picture of the No Man's Sky promotional material from Hello Games being covered up with a coming soon sticker, kind of insinuating that the game was going to get delayed. And then once this kind of was put out there and then actually, you know, a whole bunch of places started corroborating this story, a whole bunch of people started sending death threats over to Jason Shire, pretty much, you know, really sending him a whole bunch of hate because he was doing his job and reporting on some of the news. In the same time, which is even more crazier, a whole bunch of people started sending death threats over to Sean Murray and Hello Games staff because they decided to delay the game over, I think it's their delay until about August. Now here's the problem with this. It's really insane to me and as well as to a lot of other people in the industry of why is it that so many people get so heated up over something so trivial as a delay of a game that they feel the need to send death threats to the developer of said game. It's absolutely mind blowing if you really think about it. It's not like, you know, this is something involving like Al Qaeda or involving any sort of like terrorist thing or anything that's like detriment to the human race. For God's sakes, it's about something involving video games and it really tells us, you know, something not only as a, about us as a society, Society, but also us as a community and people that are part of the gaming medium and the gaming culture that we not only really need to check ourselves but also kind of grow up in some retrospect. It's almost as if this generation of gamers de deems it okay to not only expect that as the norm but also to feel like that's the kind of you know expected response to when news that we maybe not might not necessarily agree with or might ne necessarily like that's actually the intended response and that's the way that we should act as people, as consumers, as individuals that love gaming and the hobby and the passion for it. I think this is ridiculous and I think that people really not only need to grow up, they need to check themselves and really examine their behavior overall. We've seen a lot of this kind of been growing over the last few years, you know, with the advent rising of stuff like Gamergate and the whole kind of discussion about ethics and journalism, ethics and gaming culture, the talk about gaming being a much more masculine oriented, uh, was it medium and how women are trying to kind of like you know in, uh, was it put themselves into that all these different crazy type of like you know debates and discussions that have been going on when really at the core of it it really has nothing to do about sex or gender it has nothing to do about te uh, was it terrorist plots or any sort of like you know crazy kind of like you know ideologies or any sort of like you know issues at hand what it really comes down to at the heart of it is really just individuals and people that are necessarily so selfish in their perspective and so selfish with their opinions you know trying to enforce their opinions on others and not allowing, you know, the entire environment of people, not allowing consumers as themselves to really kind of have a whole bunch of diverse opinions being part as a collective. But rather, they want to impose their views on everybody else, and their views are the right views, and their type of stance on stuff should be only taken as the right type of stuff that's put out there, again, as gospel law and such. And I think that's utterly insane. Again, we really get back down to the heart of it, just death threats being sent to the developer of a game that you're gonna buy anyway, whether you get it now or whether you get it later. I mean, let alone the fact that Sean Moore, not Sean Moore, Sean Murray and the team over at Hello Games really didn't deserve that. They're some of the most humble, nicest developers I've seen put out there on various different gaming uh, websites, you know, whenever they do interviews and talk about No Man's Sky, whether it's at E3 or other events. They really don't deserve the type of like negative backlash that they've been getting just because they decided to actually delay the game. My question to this, okay, if we're using logic here, you know, and people are justifying, you know, saying death threats or saying such negative kind of re, uh, feedback and reaction over to them, where was this type of thing when something was going on with uh, Uncharted 4, when everybody uh, was okay with Uncharted 4 getting delayed because they needed more time to work on the game? Or what about any one of the other games that have come out in the recent years, especially in this console generation, that needed time to kind of germinate and really kind of hone the actual experience before they were released to the general public? Not many people really reacted this same way to a lot of other uh, games that have been released over the last few years. So what makes No Man's Sky any different? What makes it so bad that a development team that's really understaffed when you really get to the heart of it, what makes it so bad that they need extra time? 
to develop their game that they're going to be releasing sometime soon this year, if not next year, okay, you know, because of the delay and stuff, you know, what justifies them receiving death threats from everyone, let alone the guy over at Kotaku, Jason Shire, getting death threats because he decided to report on a rumor that ended up being true anyway. You know, it really tells you something about this generation of gamers, okay, whether it's older generation or younger generation. A lot of the gamers that are at least, you know, part of the medium, that are being part of, like, the whole grand big machine, uh, all this type of stuff, you know, checking out all the news and being involved in that discussion on the forums everywhere on the internet and wherever else, really tells you something about us that we really need to examine ourselves, we really need to examine our behavior, and in order for us to make gaming overall better and more inclusive and much more kind of, like, open to everybody that's curious about the hobby, curious about the medium, curious about the industry and stuff, we need to get rid of stuff like this. We need to get rid of these idle death threats that are empty threats of themselves. We need to get rid of this negative backlash for every little single thing. We need to get rid of every single type of instance where we take things to one extreme or the other. We need to get rid of this closed off and shunned out mentality, or really kind of like childish mentality when you really get to the heart of it, okay, of anything that we disagree with automatically is the worst thing ever. All this stuff needs to go. And hopefully, you know, you guys watching this vlog and maybe you share with a couple of your friends or wanna, maybe you guys get a little bit of food for thought from watching this and it actually gets those cogs and those gears in your head turning a little bit. And that way you could do the little adjustments in your own life, in your own type of daily routine and whatnot to help combat this type of thing. And hopefully we'll make gaming a better place for everybody. But either way, guys, that's all I got for you. Hopefully this, again, you got something out of this actual vlog and this talk. Again, it's something I'm really passionate about. It's like, you know, I hear crazy things like this all the time in the gaming industry. And while it doesn't make me ashamed to wear a shirt like this that goes around and says that I'm a gamer or whatnot, but it really kind of, you know, you know, repels me from actually sharing the same room with a lot of individuals that are like that. And it's really just dis disgusting to me. Sean Murray and the guys at Hello Games definitely don't deserve what they've gotten lately over a delay for a game they're trying to make awesome for everybody. But either way, leave me a comment down below in the comment section. Tell me what you guys think about the whole issue, you know, as far as, you know, the gaming community and how it has to better itself. The delay for No Man's Sky, you know, overall, again, put it in the comment section below. Make it a good discussion for everybody. Make it fun. Make it engaging for everybody out there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to leave a like on here. Subscribe to the Gamers with Games channel for all my videos related to video games and all types of cool geek and pop culture related stuff. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch TV as well. I am streaming every single weekday on Twitch TV. 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time playing a variety of different games. I've been playing Smash Brothers. I've been playing Doom. I've been playing Pokemon Tournament. I've been playing Splatoon. And I have a couple other games coming later on this week, again, of June 2016, where I'll be playing live on stream that are, again, exclusive stuff I'm going to reveal to you guys. A lot of cool, fun, engaging, and really awesome video games that are coming out very, very soon that I can't wait to play for you guys live on stream. Hopefully you guys check it out. Come join up with the chat fam and just enjoy gaming, guys. I will talk to all of you again very soon. Peace out. Stay epic, everybody.